Hello gamers, Softkitty99 and I'm back in Minecraft today for a creative build. And I have an idea that I want to build a town centre in this sort of area near to the little Minecraft village that we found and not too far away from the modern houses that we've started to build over there so that this area here will become a little town. I thought that I would start by trying to build a fountain. Now, in my head, this sounds like it'll work. Let's see what happens in reality. I've decided this is probably going to be about the place I want my town centre, so I'm going to start here. What I'm going to do is use the stone bricks and make a row of five bricks. One, two, three, four, five. And try to turn this into a circle. So, circles in Minecraft always a little bit odd. What I'm going to do is put diagonally one block two times and then another row of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then again diagonally one block and one block. And then one, two, three, four, five. One block. Oops, wrong place. One block. One, two, three, four, five. One block. One block. So it should be sort of a circle. What we then want to do is find the very centre block. Let's just check. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the centre. Now the next thing to do is to grab some blue block. I'm going to use the lapis lazuli because then what we can do is we can add in a floor of the blue which will then just make the water seem that bit more blue inside your fountain. So we just want to quickly replace all of this grass with the blue blocks so that you've got your base for your fountain. If you want you can put a pattern in here, you can use any type of blue block. If you don't want the water to appear extra blue you can even put in the stone or some gravel anything you feel like this is taking a little bit longer than i would have hoped manually replacing all these blocks do 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 nearly there la 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 here we are and what we're going to want to do is raise up this center section so that we can make it into an actual water pouring fountain so going back to the stone bricks, I'm going to raise up this center by, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then around the sides, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the four faces of that center column, I'm going to bring it up by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So as you can see, I'm trying to make it a bit symmetrical. Grab some stone bricks and at the very top on the four faces, come out so you've got a little cross in the centre. Okay. down here what I want to do I'm just trying to see if I think this will work I want to bring out this a step like this so it's kind of stuck out so the easiest way I think to do that is to put an upside down stair there then put the stair in that direction and remove the one underneath. I think this will work. Let's try that like that. So you put the stair, put one on top of it facing out and take out the ones underneath. Now what I want to try and do is pop the water 
up the top here and see. And there you go, because of where the stone blocks are, they direct the water outwards. And there is my little water fountain in the centre of my town. Now if you listen you can hear the water running, which I think is quite a restful sound. Now for the base I actually want to fill in the water at the corners here to give it a more stable, still pool feature at the bottom of the fountain. And we're nearly there I think. Is that all everything? No, I might need to put something right in the centre of the longer sections to help it to still. One more. And there we've got still pool in the bottom and then the flowing water all around. And because all the stone is hidden inside the water, it's a very modern style of feature. And I really like it like that. So that is my modern little fountain. Now we're going to add a tiny bit more detail here. What I'm going to do is use these stone slabs around the edge so that it's raised up above the water level just a little bit. I just like that little bit of depth. Of course you don't have to add that row if you prefer that the stones, stone surround is at the same level as your water, but I quite like that slightly raised texture feature. And what I'm going to do around here is I'm going to use the stone slabs at this height so that you can see half a slab of the stone above them. I'm going to actually make a square of the paving around the fountain so that the fountain is going to actually be in the centre of a pedestrian square. So I'm going to extend that around and outwards to form a big square which we're going to make the very centre of the town as we go on extending the town and adding more buildings. I will have done that before we come back for the next week's build where I will be adding a new feature of the town. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video from SoftKitty99. Goodbye and happy gaming.